Hey guys, my name is Kristen. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my TBR for the winter biannual bibliothon. If you don't know, the biannual bibliothon is a readathon that takes place two times a year, hence its name, once in the summer and once in the winter. And obviously, this is the winter biannual bibliothon of 2018. This year, winter by bib is going from Saturday, January 20th to Friday, January 26th. If you are doing this readathon, make sure you leave me a comment to let me know or link me to your TBR video so I can check it out. Before I share my TBR pal, if you're new to my channel, or if you've been lurking for a little while and just haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click on that subscribe button. That's the best way to know next time I upload a video. Also, at the end of the video, if you enjoy it, give it a like or leave me a comment to let me know. There are seven challenges for the biannual bibliothon, and the readathon is seven days long. So that means that potentially you could be reading seven books in seven days, which I have never, ever done in the history of any readathon ever. <laughs> so I'm not really that worried about meeting all seven challenges. Challenge number one is to read the group book. I love when readathons have a group book. I think it's really exciting to be reading the same book as a lot of other people. For this particular round of the Bibliothon, I will not be reading the group book. It is Otherworld by Jason Siegel, and I'm sure it's a perfectly wonderful book, but it just does not strike my fancy whatsoever. I don't know why. I, I've heard of this book before this readathon and it just, it doesn't interest me. I don't know why. But as of right now, I will not be doing challenge number one. Challenge number two is read a sequel. For this challenge, I'm not sure if the people behind the biannual bibliothon were thinking that it had to be number two in a book series to be considered a sequel, but I even Googled it and there's nothing that says only book two in a series is the sequel. All of the subsequent books in the series are sequels to the ones that come before it. So maybe I'm cheating a little bit for this one. I don't know. But my first option is The Beauty of Darkness by Mary E. Pearson. This is book three and it's the final book in the Remnant Chronicles. This continues the story of Leah and Rafe and Caden. I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to give anything away since it's book three. This is a really good YA fantasy series that I am so glad I got into. But this is kind of a thick book and it is kind of a long audiobook so I'm not sure if this is really a good choice for a readathon but we'll see. My other option for this challenge is Blue Lily Lily Blue which is the third book in the Raven Cycle series. I miss the world of the Raven Cycle. I have been listening to the second Remnant Chronicles book and as much as I love it I really really do miss the Raven Cycle universe. This series has a bit of a southern gothic feel. There's ghosts and, and psychics and I just I love this series so much so and this is a much shorter audiobook, so it is more likely that this is the one that I pick up for the readathon. Challenge number three is read a book you've never heard of before. And this is probably the hardest challenge because how are you choosing to read it if you've never heard of it before? Like, it, ugh, this is hard. For this challenge, I went with a book that I had heard of like in title, but really didn't know anything about. And that is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I have actually not read any Rainbow Rowell books before, but I went to Books A Million to get a different book, and this one just like screamed at me on the shelf to pick it up. So this is the last minute edition. <laughs> my TBR. I do know that this book is connected to another Rainbow Row book called Fangirl and in that book the character is like a big fan of this series or she writes fanfic that is this book or I don't know something like that. I'm really looking forward to picking this up but it is really long. It's like just under 500 pages so not a great choice for a readathon but it was just one of those things that was screaming at me off the shelf <laughs> to buy it and bring it home so I did and hopefully I love it. My other choice for this challenge is Morgan. I did not even know that this existed. This is a prequel novella for the Remnant Chronicles series and it's all about Morgan, the girl, not the kingdom. The, the girl that the stories are about, which is who Leah's kingdom is named after. The story is about when she was younger and she fell in love with a boy from an enemy camp and how that love kind of started the whole history of the Remnant Chronicles. Can't believe I didn't even know that existed. Challenge number four is read a book about mental illness and for this one I will be reading one that I've seen in a lot of other TBR piles and that is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I finally got around to checking out what the book was actually about and even though the main plot is uh, the main character, Aza, and her best friend, Daisy, are kind of pursuing some sort of mystery involving a billionaire and his son. The uh, subplot that kind of drives the whole story is that Aza suffers from anxiety. I've read a couple of reviews and I feel really drawn into the idea of this story now and I'm really looking forward to it. I myself have anxiety and OCD and sometimes I don't read books with main characters that also have that because it triggers me a little bit and sometimes I feel really connected with characters that have symptoms of things like that. So I'm kind of interested to see 
see which way this book is gonna go for me. I feel like I can trust the subject matter because it is in the hands of John freaking Green. Challenge number five is read a book that was mentioned in another book, a movie, or a TV show. And at first I thought, oh my God, this is gonna be such a hard challenge. But then somebody mentioned uh, Gilmore Girls. There are all kinds of lists online of every book ever mentioned in Gilmore Girls, and there's a ton on there. I found a book that I have been wanting to read for a really long time that I just recently bought myself a print copy of, and that is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. I don't know if I'm gonna be in the mood to read a classic the week of the readathon, but I do have a backup that I'll show you <laughs> in just a second. And even though this is such a popular, famous classic book, I actually don't really know how it ends. I don't really know what the deal is between Jane and the man she falls in love with. I'm not really sure how that ends. If I'm not in the mood to read a classic next week, my backup is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. <laughs> Since this book is based on a fandom from fangirl that Rainbow Rowell also wrote. Like this is clearly mentioned in another book, so it counts. The synopsis on Goodreads says it's a ghost story, a love story, and a mystery. Oh, and it has just as much kissing as you would expect from a Rainbow Rowell novel, but far, far more monsters. I don't know what any of that means, but it sounds fan-freaking-tastic. Challenge number six is to read a book under 200 pages. At first, I had no idea what I was gonna read for this, so I went on Twitter and I asked if anybody had any suggestions, and Biannual Bibliothon's Twitter account helped me out. They retweeted my tweet, and you guys gave me some really, really awesome suggestions. And so my front-runner choice for this is Legion by Brandon Sanderson, and this one is only only 80 something pages. It's about a man named Stephen Leeds who is a genius and he has a unique ability to generate all these different personas that he sees like hallucinations but he treats them like they're real people. His different imaginary persona help him in different ways like if he's trying to learn another language, one of his personas can learn that language for him. If he's trying to remember something, one of his other hallucinations can remember that for him. And so somehow he uses these different like hallucinations to help solve a case of a missing person. And challenge number seven is to read a backlist title. Now we're in 2018, so I guess that means that you just have to read books published in 2017 and before. All of the books that I have picked are actually before 2017 anyway, so. I'm good to go. None of these are new. These are all books that I had picked for other challenges, so I will be double dipping in this. I will either be reading for this challenge, The Beauty of Darkness, or Carry On, or Blue Lily, Lily Blue. All of those were published before 2017 even, so any of those could count for this challenge. And that's it. That's my TBR for the Winter Biannual Bibliothon. I am really excited to get started. Again, if you're participating, let me know in the comments or link me to your TBR video. I can't wait to see what everybody else is reading. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye!